Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you would like to get in contact with me. So let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Virgo, it just looks like um, you're... All right, the Nine of Swords in your love sector okay um something happened some event happens things are crumbling down it's not going in your favor it's not going the way you thought it would go things are kind of breaking down communication is breaking down um there could have been an event and if not an event then it was something that occurred where there were words exchanged. Somebody is replaying something over and over again. Somebody is at a place where the emotions and the thoughts are just attacking them. They can no longer stand it. The nines, um, you know, in, in the tarot, the Herman is the nines. And so we have the nine of swords. So it could have something to do with your own personal philosophy. It could be the air of being good natured. Maybe you thought something was going to go your way. So you continue to stay in something you continue to do. Um, you continue to allow something to go to pass or you were passive about something or someone. Um, it, it's like you are alone right now and you're dealing with something alone. Um, in the career and finance sector, you have the ace of swords. So it's like, now you can see something clearly because there's no distraction. There's nothing, um, taken away from your thought process. You, uh, see 110% of what you need to be doing or, or what the situation is. It says that you are seeing, uh, things 110% clearly. You're seeing the truth of a matter also. Uh, you are going to make some irrevocable change in your career. You could be opting in to learn something new because it is about conflict, discovering the conflict or dispelling the conflict, talking about the conflict, and then you go into maybe conflict resolution, victory. So it's it's uh, conflict before resolution here in your career in finance sector. So it's like, I have to discover what the problem with the issue is. And then now I can go into resolving it, uh, dissolving it or whatever I need to do. Um, the overall energy is the world card. So it's about what you are creating. Um, this is the initial stages of creation. Also, um, it's about what you're putting in energy, effort, time into. It's about maybe doing high quality work, not getting paid enough. It's about maybe not getting your voice heard or not being heard or feeling isolated or alienated. Someone leaves at night or they do something where you just don't know what's going on. It drives you crazy. It pulls you to a place of maybe unrest, insanity or temporary insanity. Um, the week is also about maybe feeling like there is a third party or that people would rather your person would rather be with friends or rather be with someone else or rather be in social events or at social events than with you. Um, it's all about maybe the deception that is occurring in your mind. So you need to get clear in your thoughts and make sure that you're thinking correctly. You might need to sit with someone to actually go through, comb through the thoughts, um, Someone could be masquerading like something is when it isn't. They are lying when um, they, they're masquerading like they're not lying when they are lying. Um, this is also um, someone really wanting to go it alone. They're acting like they want a relationship or they want a partnership or they want the business, but they really uh, don't care to have it. They could really go it alone. Um, this is someone acting solo. Again, it drives you crazy. Something about maybe even in your career and finance, something is driving you crazy. You want something to end or um, some conversation you had, you're overthinking it or you're thinking it, you're thinking about it, you're dissecting it and you're going through it once again. Um, also, you could have some issues with money. Uh, you don't know if you're going to have enough or if it's just enough. Um, you could be asking someone to help support you or support um, 
You could be going to a powerful man. Uh, maybe your boss drives you crazy. Maybe there's someone here who, yeah, this could be like a lawyer or someone who is over speech. Uh, not speech. Yes, yeah, speech, language. Um, they... <sighs> They take matters into their own hands, okay? And this might even need to be you. T you need to take matters into your own hands, okay? Um, you need to devise a plan. Whatever you have in your mind space, you, you want to bring it down into the 3D, you need to do so, okay? You need to use everything that you have to make something real, realize. Also, there's like an air of laziness, discontentment, boredom, uh... An inability to cope also, okay? And somebody even being victimized or playing the victim. So this is what I have for you, Virgo. Not the best week, but it's definitely temporary energy. You can get past this. You might have to deal with the fact that something is over, okay? Because there is an inability to cope with a relationship being over. It also could have been very volatile. You didn't know what you were getting from day to day, week to week. To week. The uh, world card here wants you to know that you can create the world that you want, but it's about leaving something behind, this journey behind and journeying into the new, being initiated into something new and better, something better fitted, suiting you, okay? So um, that's what I have. If it resonates, let me know in the comment section how it resonates for you. You got the longest reading. So um, thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you, Virgo.